Hey everybody, uh, Clifford here, and uh, today um, I'm going to be doing a uh, Carrie and Yamato video. Oh, um, it's been like a good 13 days uh, since I made my last video. Oh, um, I took I took like a little a little break from posting a little a video and stuff like that. Um, I was getting kind of tired a lot lately, so um, I decided to um, cause I, I do these like I do these videos at night, night like literally at night. Like right now at the clock, it's 12:40. Uh, so and usually like when I record these videos and stuff like that, um, after I after I record like almost like a good thirty or forty minutes and I do my editing and like whatever I need to and add my photos, um, and then I upload it to um, uh, YouTube and you know I set up all the uh, procedure things so of like you know giving it a title and um, uh, anything I need to do before it's actually uploaded to YouTube directly where everyone can see it. Uh, um, once it's being like directly uploaded to YouTube directly, that's when I start going to bed and usually. But that that could take almost like a good hour to two hours at the most, most uh, just to get me through everything. And, um, but since I always did my videos at night, I it does get pretty tiresome. And, you know, tire, tiresome. Um, um, but yeah. Um, now before I get into the main context of the video, it's like that. Um, I wanted to start off uh, with something uh, very important. Um, I've been getting a lot of subscribers lately, and it's like that. I think now I got like 44 subscribers, and for the past uh, month, I've been getting quite a few subscribers. So I want to thank everyone who um, has been enjoying my videos and that uh, they want to subscribe to my channel and, uh, and give me the confidence, and they want to see more from me. Um, I'm sorry that um, you didn't get a video by the time you, uh, you uh, by the time you subscribe. I but I hope you that you'll um, you'll still enjoy uh, what I have to offer er, and I would like to say I'm very thankful for everyone out there who subscribed all right and if anyone out there uh, else um, comes across my videos and they feel like they interested in them um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel um, also um, there is one other thing I want to mention um, and we'll get into the, uh, the actual video here in a minute um, another thing I want to mention that I feel like this is very important um, I might actually think of trying to do other things for my uh, uh, my YouTube channel as well, so I might not just focus on uh, One Piece because like I do mostly like One Piece uh, topic videos and stuff like that. Uh, um, I I have made like other kind of videos. I made like Nintendo videos focusing on like Mario characters and um, just like a general um, procedure kind of thing. And, um, I might do other things as well. Um, so I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'll, I'll, when it comes to it, I'll probably lay lay down, but I might do other kind of videos as well. Well. Well, maybe I'll do like some kind of like uh, movie reviews on certain things, or maybe I'll make other kind of Nintendo uh, video topics and stuff like that. I've done mostly like Mario characters. I'm thinking of probably doing things like uh, Donkey Kong or even uh, Legend of Zelda kind of videos as well. Um, there won't be any like major big things and stuff like that. They'll just be random. They'll just be random videos about certain topics and a uh, certain uh, idea. So if you like those kind of things, uh, stay tuned and uh, maybe one of them will come up. But um, but yeah, so I just basically want to start off that. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get into the context of the video. All right. So this will basically sort of be like a pickup or a sequel to the last Karen Yamato video I made. So in the last Karen Yamato video I made um, that focused on them, um, I basically made a Karen Yamato uh, Connections video where I basically laid down some similarities between Karen and Yamato. Oh, they weren't exactly described as being like major things, like absolutely big, but they were small enough to where you can see um, a sort of like a similar thing, thing, like whether or not it would be like a similar scene in a panel or like uh, similar connections to um, relations or like um, like certain um, enjoyments or like wh whatever it maybe be it was sort of like similarities this is sort of like a pickup of that but also it sort of has its own unique uh tell into the video oh. and basically what this uh what this whole video is about what this video is necessarily about is not necessarily about the connections or like the similarities between Kara and Yamato but the sort of the topic idea of like um how will things turn out for Kara and Yamato once they are joined the shot true um could they become best friends like could they actually become friends um Friends. And you, you know you figure that if they if they do join the strike crew, if Karen Yamato will join the strike crew and they both sail with one uh, sail with strides, you would have, you would have, you would at least figure or at least know without confidence that they are going to be good friends and stuff like that. But seeing it as more of a, a more of an actual answer to basically state could they actually become best friends? Because could they become um, you know like really good friends as who see each other or as good friends? friends. And um, um, I chose a bit of a and. You'll, if you uh, when you when you see the video it's like that uh, um, once you uh, click on the uh, uh, once you see the thumbnail I chose a very uh, interesting thumbnail like that where um, I chose like a different a different uh, side of emotion between Carrie and Yamato and stuff like that uh, um, where I basically wanted to um, show um, get people interested in it's like that I uh, wanted to basically have a unique one wanted to basically like where um, different opinions or different matters on like how they might view things to where you know, you can work something out out um, but let's get into the actual context of the video. Okay, so, um, so yeah, so my general idea of this and stuff like that is that how could we see uh, both Carrie and Yamato actually becoming good friends and stuff like that? 
the first thing we have to look at is the straw hats in general. Um, and um, that that would also include Luffy, but I'm going to I'm going to add Luffy a little bit last because there's something I want to add to Luffy. So the first thing we should do is start with Strike Crew and like that. Um, we'll first introduce the carrot. So carrot um carrot has actually got the sale with a couple of the straw hats. Uh, um, for an amount of time, I'm going to Whole Cake Island and then uh, up to Wano and stuff like that. Um, she traveled with Luffy, Nami, uh, Chopper, uh, Brooke, and Pedro was there along with Peckham, um, who all traveled to Whole Cake Island and stuff like that. Um, Carrot was one, with one of them. Um, by the time they had left uh, uh, Zo, uh, not Zo, but by the time they left Wano, uh, not Wano, Whole Cake Island, um, Pedro, you know, Pedro had uh, lost his life, and then um, Peckham's, um, he basically uh, sacrificed himself to help um, help Luffy and Sanji escape. Uh, remember, it was Peckham's who helped Luffy get out of the Mirror World because um, he had captured uh, Brule. Right? Um, and you see, the interesting thing about this is that from this moment, moment, from like because of this, we got a good introduction of like you know like um, Carrot having a good moment with the Shrike crew and it's like that. Now. For Yamato, oh, Yamato has not got to like sell with the Shrikes in general. Like we didn't get to see like any big, big, big um showings of Yamato and the crew. However, um we do know the fact that um Yamato has always been interested in joining the Strike Crew. She's always been interested in joining Luffy's crew and signing with him. Um and we do know in chapter one thousand and fifty I believe it's 1051, um, after the whole fight had ended with uh Luffy and Kaido, oh, um Yamato uh, basically introduced um um, herself or himself, whatever you like to prefer, um, to the crew, saying that, um, that I hope to join you, you, um, I hope, you know, I hope to join on you someday, which, um, most of them were okay with it, some of them were a bit shocked, and others say, like, uh, okay, but I, I rather hear, I rather, I rather wait till I hear Luffy's opinion, it's like, okay, that's fine, so, so yeah, so, and while, um, after the whole, um, Luffy and uh, Zoro wake up from, like, their, uh, like, one week or two week break, I, was it one week or two weeks? Well, the point only is like we know during that time Yanto was uh was having um uh, was we know we know because of it like Yanto was um was in good uh was in like um a good, good friendship with the crew like she was making good acquaintance with the crew and like that uh, um they were all very supportive of Yanto's uh, decision of like this um um this uh, um r r like this uh, kind of thing that she was doing um I'm forgetting what it's called um she was basically doing this like um sort of like this uh, sort of like this um religion or this kind of a uh, thing -ang where she basically decided to not bathe or eat until Luffy woke up uh, um crap I I can't think of the top of my head what it was called I should have wrote it down yeah but put it simple oh because of like even like even though uh oda hasn't necessarily directly showed us um yamato um spending uh, showing yamato as many times to try as, as in ways of like what he did with uh, carrot um you can still see that just just because you don't have to see like um just because you don't have to necessarily see it it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't uh, prove, prove that there is something that there and the fact that these two characters um who have both uh, similar connections to some ways, and the fact that they both have connections to the crew, and that they both um and they both seem to get along with the crew itself, well. you figure that if these two characters join the Shrike crew, um, not only could they get along with the crew, but you figure they can also get along with each other, and that's just that just seems possible, and that just seems like more reasonable. All right, so another thing to um get into, oh, I feel like it's a really good. Um, interesting thing to point out is um, with Wanda himself. Um, now I mentioned Wanda before, or in the Carrot Yamato connections video and stuff like that. But what I want to add here is that imagine for uh, imagine for this case, um, Carrot feeling um, feeling very um, uh, friend like feeling a good friendship with Yamato because maybe Yamato will sort of remind her of um, Wanda in some way. Like she'll feel like very um, like she'll feel like a very good connection with Yamato. Oh, oh, because of like she might see a little bit of uh, Wanda in Yamato in some way. Right. Um, now. And stuff now and you know because like maybe like it would like help like depending on, like how it could be is like like you know like she would feel like very um like it would just remind her in some way now for a lot of people like you'd be thinking and it's like like okay so you're basically saying hey like um so you're saying like uh she will miss uh wanda it's like that it's like well you know for anyone out there who doesn't believe care she's doing they'll probably saying well if she's gonna miss wanda that much why don't she just say and oh it's like and true or like it's it, like it's it's not necessarily wrong to necessarily uh state that uh, but it's also not wrong to necessarily um state eight why uh she can't necessarily go oh because of that uh, and the easiest way i should put it is that we have to understand this very interesting thing we have to understand very something very, very important about all the strides in general not just not just the new ones that come okay but this goes for all the strides all right luffy to everyone else everyone has someone they miss someone that they interacted with someone that they miss very much okay um think about it luffy while luffy is out there trying to achieve his dream of becoming um a king of the pirates and stuff like that 
he obviously misses, uh, he obviously misses the people in his home village, right? Luffy does not, like, Luffy misses all his friends that he, uh, meets that, um, he makes good friends with them and stuff like that, but I can assure you, Luffy does miss the people of his home village, right? He, he obviously, he wouldn't probably miss Makino all very much, uh, um, does that mean that he thinks about them every day? Probably not, but he does miss them, all right? Same thing with Nami and her village and stuff like that. She, she misses her sister, Najiko, oh, and she misses Ginza, oh, um, Frankie misses his family, um, Chopper misses Dr. Korea, uh, he thinks of her all the time, um, Sanji obviously thinks about the people of Rarate, um, Zoro, um, Zoro probably thinks of his mentor a lot, um, um, you know, uh, Queen's father in his, uh, home village, uh, he probably thinks of him, so, you know, they're, like, you know, think of it in general, like, saying, like, like, you know, like, well, if you know, if Carrot's going to be missing people from her home, home, then maybe she just stay home, well, no, that's not a very good excuse, because all the strats have someone they probably miss from their home, and for this, it's, like, this is like a good, uh, like this is basically a good argument to point out, out that it's because like, it's because you miss them um, that gives you the reason to go out there, right? It's because of the reason that you have to go out there, Eric, and you have to basically make this journey. Um, does it have to be a big one? No, it just has to, it just has to have some kind of meaning and connection, all right? Carrie has just as much right to miss her home as much as the Straw has missed theirs, right? She has every right to miss her friend, her main friends, just as much as the other Straw have um have to miss theirs, all right? They all have the rights to miss someone that they care about. Um, for Ugh. We know Brooke misses Laboon, but for Brooke, there's not other, there's not any other good, uh, there's not any other good points to bring up for Brooke. And then for Robin, oh boy, Robin's a bit of a tough one. Robin's a bit of a hard one to point out. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it seems like Robin and Brooke are, like in my opinion, are the two hardest ones. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything for uh, Brooke or Robin. Brooke for Laboon, we know that for sure, but Robin, yeah, Rob, Robin's, I, Robin's probably the biggest sole exception, and, um, but yeah, so, and, you know, and we know, like, real well, like, with Carrie and stuff like that, uh, and, you know, in the way, like, they get along with the uh, crew necessarily, like, like, even with Carrie and Nami, right, Carrie and Nami, uh, get, like, when Carrie and, uh, still destroyed crew, um, she probably made, like, she was probably, like, like, the, like, the female companion, or, like, the, um, so, like, the female support for Nami in that sense, and so, like, you know, someone to talk to, someone to have, like, a female best friend, and, uh, someone to have a bit of a connection to that, uh, and I felt like, uh, Nami was very, uh, very kind to have that, uh, journey with her, her, um, and, stuff. and you know, thinking about it in general, all because of these connections, and so you can feel like a great concern. Earn. It's like it's very like it has very unique thing to process. It's like it's it's something to point out. All right, it's just something. It, it's just it's just something unique. It's like you know, if they if, if they can sail with Strike Crew and like be friends with the crew, then you can probably believe without a doubt that these two um could even become friends. Now, could they? Now, could there be some rivalry between the Strike Crew or even rivalry between uh, Yamato and Carrot? Maybe. Like we don't know what Oda's gonna do. It's hard to say. But just just something to basically state and add. All right. So um, now getting into uh, Luffy. You know, I'm basically just getting all over the place with this. All right. So. All right, so starting off with Luffy, it's like that. Um, you know, Luffy. Another thing to point out, out very interesting that another connection that I did not point out in the last video, it's like that, is that uh, both Yamato and Carrot have something very similar when it comes to Luffy. All right, they were both um, they were both saved by Luffy by um, uh, both saved by Luffy um, when they were facing off against the main uh, enemy of the uh, the main fight that Luffy fought during the. Uh, during the arcs or the uh, uh during the arcs that they appeared in stuff like that um carrot uh was saved by luffy from katakuri who luffy faced katakuri and it was the introduction of gear uh for snake man and man uh when he fought that battle all right and then uh luffy was um yamato was well yamato in this case wasn't necessarily saved by luffy because yamato was actually like for the main difference between these things to point out is that um, Carrot, um, did not actually do anything, I think, to Kai Curry, all right, right, Kai Curry knocked, uh, Carrot to the floor or without ease, he, like, he, he didn't even break a sweat when it comes to that, uh, and Kaido didn't break a sweat either, but the main difference is, is that Yanto was able to hold her own against her father, uh, much longer than what, um, Carrot did with Kai Curry, but the main point what I'm trying to point out here is that, um, is just as uh, Kakuri attacked uh, Carrot, uh, Kaido was also attacking Yamato as well, and Luffy interfered and stopped the fight. I uh, stopped uh, Kaido from attacking Yamato, and Yamato knew uh, very well that this is because that um, Luffy wanted to face Kaido on her, on his own. Like he didn't want uh, he didn't want any fair errors. Like he was very appreciative of uh, Yamato uh, holding down the fort until he got back, and now that he's back, he's ready to take control. And see, that's what I'm pointing out here is that both of them were saved uh, by the uh, saved by Luffy against the um, the main. Uh, 
by the main uh, antagonists that Luffy had to fight during that battle, and not to mention that both of them, um, both of those fights were the introductions of a gear of a new gear, uh, gear four Snake Man for Katakuri and gear uh, five uh, for uh, Kaido. Um, so yeah, bit of a connection there. There, um, and we know like we know like Luffy, Luffy for Luffy anytime he meets someone that he likes and he enjoys and he gets real well with them, it's like that that. Luffy feels like a very st- a concerned connection, and it's like, like you know, I, I like you a lot, all right? I, you made some great choices, all right? And for these kind of characters, for Yamato and Carrot, I feel like they've, like, earned enough respect for Luffy and enough uh, gratitude for Luffy in a way to where if they were to ask Luffy to, hey, Luffy, can we stay on your crew? I feel like Luffy wouldn't say no. Oh, I, I feel like he would say yes. Um, Would he probably, like, like like curiously wonder, like, why? why? And, like, there's nothing wrong with asking that. Uh, uh, and how they might answer that, that's probably up, probably up to them. It's hard to say. But we know for sure that because of who Luffy is, that and because of like how much gratitude they feel, well, because of like uh, what he was able to accomplish and how they can prove to them, they probably thinking like, you know, because of how Luffy is and how he's able to prove things. Maybe if I go with him, I'll be able to uh, prove something to myself as well. And it's all it just feels like a good connection to that. Yeah, and you're probably thinking because of these two characters who might ask Luffy to join the crew. You can probably see a great, um, funny, uh, funny connection that air to where these two characters who who joined the Destroyer crew at the same time, and that these two will be very confident in each other or, and might work together in some way. And who knows? Like maybe, like maybe, maybe they'll have to join forces if fighting against uh, Blackbeard's crew, or uh, however that may be turn out. We don't know. And um, so. Uh, so yeah, so I have like, look, I have no doubt in my mind that both Carrot and Yamato uh, could join the Shark Crew, and I have no doubt in my mind that they become that they could become great friends. Um, it's just something. It's just something. Uh, something to basically say, and something to ask, something to point out. Um, and another thing, and another thing I want to basically say, and um, this 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 part doesn't have anything to do with Yamato. This is mostly just on Carrot, but this is something I need to point out before I really end the video. We have to understand, Luffy. Luffy thinks of his friends all the time. Okay. Luffy thinks of all of his friends all the time, alright? He thinks of the Minx as his friends, okay? And keep in mind, Carrot is literally front and center on Luffy's mind all the time, alright? All the time. You don't believe me? Take a look for yourself. See? There's Luffy thinking about Carrot and the Minx. Right there. <laughs> If anyone noticed, uh, this video, um, this image is sort of like, um, uh, it, it's, uh, it, it, I basically took a different image of, like, the, uh, inks, uh, and I m- m- sort of, like, combined it together with, uh, Lu- like, with Luffy's, uh, thinking of, like, uh, well, not Luffy thinking, but Kaido thinking of, like, um, um, those, uh, those five uh, who were able to best him, it's like that, this is, uh, similar to that, so, in, in a way, it's, it's kind of funny when you look at, at it, and you compare, and, like, and you compare these two pictures, and you look at, at it, it, you have to think, think for a second, like, okay, so, and it's kind of weird, but so I guess in this case, uh, Wanda would be Rocks, um, Pedro would be Roger, which oddly enough, the Pedro and Roger one actually makes sense. That one actually makes sense. Um, I guess uh, Rhodey would be um, uh, Whitebeard, um, and then Blackjack would be Odin, and then that would mean that Carrot is Shanks. And and you know, Luffy. Always thinks that Luffy does thinks of the Shanks a lot. Not to mention the fact that he wears a straw hat on his head. Wow. I feel like this whole I feel like this whole whole thing I'm just mentioning uh, feels like it makes, it makes a great topic. Uh, but yeah, so um, that's the basic point of the video. It's like that. Um, not 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 nothing like big. No deep diving. No insane amount of uh, uh, suggestion of that. Just a bit of a j- just a bit of a topic to go over. Just uh, something unique to point out. Out. Um, so hey, it's whatever you guys believe and stuff like that. So if you guys believe that uh, Carrie and Yamato could become good friends if they join the Shark Crew, um, do you feel like uh, Carrot might feel a, good, a bit of a connection with Yanto in some way because Yanto might uh, Yanto's, uh, devil fruit, the inner Naomi, um, might remind her of Wano in some way, or, like, maybe of, like, her personality, or, like, how she fights, um, well, then again, Yanto's personality is different from Wanda, but, you know, you, f- you think, you think, like, like, how, like, how it might, how it might remind you of someone uh, is a bit different, but everyone's opinion, like, how someone, how something can remind someone of someone is really up to how they view it, um, so, yeah, so, that, that's all I have for the video, nothing much to go over, uh, nothing much just to say, so, um, hey, that's the end of the video. So, um, thank you so much. If you did enjoy the video, uh, please let me know by smashing that like button. All right, you gotta smash that like button, okay? 
Um, also, um, I would very much appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, especially if you did enjoy the video, okay? If you enjoyed the video, you gotta subscribe to the channel, okay? Hey, it, it's only the, it's, it's logical, all right? It makes sense, all right? It's the most logical thing to do. You gotta subscribe to the channel, okay? Um, also, um, you can follow me on Twitter if you want, and, um, I'll let you know when I have a uh, next video up, and, um, I think my next video I'm gonna do, um, I might, my next video, I'm, I'm actually thinking of doing a Zelda video, like a Legend of Zelda kind of video, it's like that. Um, will it be like a big uh, Zelda kind of video, like, like, YouTubers who do, like, Zelda videos, like, all the time? I'm, no, but it's just gonna be like a little video I might do out of fun, and, um, how that's gonna be, or how it's gonna be, uh, for, how it's gonna be done necessarily, I'm not really sure, I'll, when it comes to it, I'll, I'll do it. Um, so yeah, so that's basically all I have, have. and um, hey, you guys all have a great day, and um, we'll be getting back to uh, One Piece, uh, the manga, pretty soon. Um, next week, uh, we are getting back into One Piece, so yes, we're back! Alright, so you all have a great day. Bye now.